Hello and welcome to the series of uh, topics on Salesforce. Uh, in today's uh, session, we will be discussing on the master detail relationship and the lookup relationship. These are the uh, ways where we can relate one record to the other record through the parent and child relationships where one becomes the parent and other becomes the child. So the way we can uh, relate them is in two ways. Uh, master detail and lookup relationship. There are certain, certain uh, subtle differences between the two. We will be discussing that at a later point of time. Uh, first, we'll uh, get into what is uh, the master detail relationship. So, wh why we need master detail relationship? We need uh, master and detail relationship to control the behaviors of master and detail, and uh, we have to have a uh, maximum of uh, two relationship in a master detail relationship we can establish relationship between uh, standard object um, and a custom object as well as from uh, between standard objects or between custom objects so in this example we have um, account uh, is related to expense report which is the detail and account is the master and uh, in the custom object we have job application as the master and review as the detail and we have uh, we can have one more level as the detail of the review records uh, in the case of custom object. So uh, there are certain behaviors in the master detail relationship. So when a master use the record is deleted, the child records also gets deleted, and uh, the uh, records in the master detail cannot be reparented, uh, but with the exception of administrators who can perform reparenting in certain cases. The owner field will not have a separate value in the detail records if the owner will be the same as the owner of the parent records. And the custom objects on the detail side uh, cannot have sharing because the sharing rules are being uh, ruled by or governed by the master detail, master records. The security, center, uh, security settings for the master records also will be controlling the detail and some detail records, the kind of access that the user can have on the detailed records is the same as that of the master uh, records and uh, there should be a relationship defined on the page layout of the detail and sub detailed records so some of the other details are it can a count exceed 10,000 child records in a master detailed relationship so if there are any data which is already existing in uh, the two uh, objects uh, that we have to establish the relationship, we need to remove the records and then establish the relationship. So that's about the master detail. Coming to the lookup relationship, we can uh, see the lookup relationship is similar in terms of master detail, but the only major difference is being that uh, they do not uh, share with respect to the parent. The child is independent and the parent is independent and there is no support for the roll-up summary fields. That means you can't do any aggregate aggregation functions on the, uh, uh, the two objects related. So we can have a um, lookup relationship between the standard objects or lookup relationship between the custom objects like opportunity account and opportunity campaign or some of the examples. So lookup relationship for two different uh, objects uh, it is going to relate the two different objects and or it can be related to the same object within itself as well as like, like a self relationship can be established within the two objects and lookup field has to be included on the page layouts um, for that uh, to have a related list being displayed on the uh, pay objects page layouts as well and if there are uh, more than uh, 100,000 records, um, we cannot delete an object or relationship if the combined count of records is 100,000 between the two objects in the lookup relationship. So uh, the main differences um, are summarized as shown in the slide here. We can have uh, field values as not required, that is the field values are not to, uh, not to be filled as a mandatory in the case of lookup relationship, but the field values for the field uh, in the master detail relationship is always uh, required, so it cannot be left blank. Uh, the relationship field 
as far as the relationship field is concerned. And uh, also we can have uh, the parent is not a required field uh, similarly, uh, but the parent has to be included in the detailed record or the child record in the case of master detailed relationship. And you can't reassign a field value once you have um, determined on the lookup relationship in the case of master detail, but we can do a reassignment in the case of lookup relationship. And uh, lookup does not support aggregate functions like sum of records or count of records or minimum or maximum of the records that we have got. So those kind of uh, calculations can be done using roll-up summary fields. You need to define a subject field called roll-up summary fields in the uh, master detail master object or the parent object to aggregate the records in the detail object. So that's that's the way we can aggregate or uh, create a calculation on the uh, roll-up summary field. And there is no cascade deleting in the case of lookup relationship. The cascade deleting is that if you delete the parent record, the child record also the related child records of the parent also get deleted in the case of master detail but in the case of lookup it doesn't get deleted so uh, essentially you can say lookup relationship is uh, loosely compute that is the child is independent of the master while the master detail relationship is a tightly coupled which means the detail is always tightly coupled with respect to the parent record so it cannot be independent of the parent record and the maximum allowed uh, lookup relationship in a relationship is 25 and maximum allowed for the case of master detail is 2. So in this example, we would be saying one to many relationship being established between two custom objects called review and job application. So one job application on a job uh, being advertised in a HR module will have multiple uh, reviews associated with that application. There might be multiple reviewers uh, reviewing this uh, same application uh, in uh, multiple interviews. So when you interview a candidate, you can have multiple review comments from multiple interviewers. So that's the kind of uh, example shown over here. We can just look into this um, app application and see where we can create or how we can create the master detailed relationship. To create a master detail relationship, click on setup and go to create objects, create objects and then go for the detail object that you want to create a master for. So in this case, in our example, we had review is the one-to-many one relationship between review and application. So we are going to the many side of the uh, relation which is review in this case so I would say edit because I have already defined and show you what all the things that need to be done so here in this case we have the review as the uh, name of the field uh, and the data type of the field or the field data type is going to be the master detail and the relationship field is going to be the uh, job application which is going to be the job application so uh, so here in this case the we will be creating a new custom field called job application and we would be filling this details in the job application the field label the field name and the related list label and the related to will be filled as job application the child relationships name will be automatically populated as reviews so in this way we can create and we can also set whether we need to do a read only uh, access or we need to have read write access and this is what I was referring to as reparenting you can create uh, the relationship and later on if you want to assign a different parent uh, for the review object which is not other than the job application you, you need to have click this while creating the uh, custom field with master detail relationship so we uh, we understood what is the master detail relationship what is a lookup relationship and how we can configure the master detail relationship in this uh, exercise
and similarly we can create lookup relationship and the way to create lookup relationship is we go to the objects and uh, in this case I go for job application object so um, if I want to create a relation between a lookup relation between job application and candidate I have to create a field called candidate and fill in the details of the candidate for the candidate field and uh, I would say the related list uh, it is related to candidate in from job application I am in the object job application so I create a field called candidate under job application and I will relate it to, to candidate and the child relationship will be the job application so I would say um, also what to do if the lookup record is deleted clear the value of this field you can't choose the option if you make this field required so if you if you can't make this field required because the lookup relationship does not always mandate to fill the value so you can leave this unchecked and this one is checked and you can save the details of the lookup relationship so when you do this let me go to the job application object um, and click on any record that is created for job application I can see the master detail relationship of the multiple reviews if I have more than one reviews I can have the multiple reviews over here I can create new reviews for each of these job application because I have established a master detail relationship similarly I can edit the candidate information if I want to select the candidate information which is a lookup relationship I can click on this search and then search for the required candidates I can click on go and all the candidates will be displays, uh, displayed and I can select the required candidates for this job application so we saw that how we can configure master detail relationship and how we can configure lookup relationship and what are the different ways we can use this configuration hope this session was informative and interesting to you we can catch up in the next series of session on the Salesforce. Thanks for joining.